Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Uh, we are a day away from the early streamer event for Ikoria, uh, Lair of the Behemoths, fatty monster mutant creature set. Um, so I'll be participating in the early streamer event on April 15th, thanks to Wizards. Um, I'll be live on Twitch around 1 p.m. Uh, got a god account, so got all the cards for a day. Uh, so we're jamming a bunch of decks. I featured a variety of decks here on YouTube in terms of uh, video deck decks, but I have a lot more deck decks or a lot more decks on my Aether Hub account, which I just haven't had time to get through um, actual do video deck decks. But there's a lot of brews there as well. Uh, so the format's best of one, so keep that in mind. But um, these are all kind of initial thoughts, decks I wanted to kind of play, themes, or some of the cool cards in the set, uh, just to kind of go through. Um, so this one here is a Gruel Dinos list. Uh, so red-green dinosaurs uh, with some honorary dinosaurs, uh, looking at you, Quest and Beast. Um, but basically what we're trying to do is play really big creatures um, as early as turn three, and then uh, just smash and trample and go to town with that. So it's kind of a different take on Gruel. Uh, you're a little bit probably used to at this point, like the Ember Cleave style builds. Uh, or if you're familiar at all with Historic, the best deck in Historic, uh, Gruul, um, the one that got me to Mythic in five days. Uh, that deck is ridiculous with Burning Tree Emissary. It feels like cheating some turns, but slightly different take, so I'll walk you through it. Um, so basically what we're trying to do with this deck is play a turn two accelerant into a variety of four drops, ideally, on turn three. And then uh, we have a couple ways to push through damage and just get pseudo card advantage. Uh, so the ways we accelerate on turn two, we have Marauding Raptor. Uh, so creature spells cost one less to cast. The caveat is when another creature enters the battlefield under our control, Marauding Raptor deals two damage to it. If a creature is a dinosaur, is dealt damage, Marauding Raptor pumps itself two out for the turn. Um, so basically the only creature in our deck that the two damage actually kills is Paradise Druid. Um, Sequencing, you probably want to go Paradise Druid anyways because it's Mana Accelerant. Uh, you're guaranteed for that turn where Mar uh, Raptor can be killed. So if you choose between the two on turn two, go Druid and then go Raptor. Um, but Druid is another way to accelerate, fixes our mana. So those are our Accelerants. Uh, I'm going to feature the creatures first, then we'll go through some of the support cards. Uh, so what are we ramping into? Um, another Honorary Dino, it's just an overall good card, Gruel Spellbreaker. Uh, get this out turn three, turn four, depending on when you're playing it, or it's just a hasty threat. It has Hexproof during your opponent's turn. It can become a 4-4, four, four. big body. As a 4-4, four, four, if they shatter the sky, you draw a card. Um, there's Gem Razor. So another beast. Uh, we're getting to dinos, I swear. Um, but it's a, even as a four mana, 4-4 four, four, reach trample, the stats are pretty good. Um, when it does mutate onto another creature, uh, so it can mutate onto everything in our deck nicely. Um, it allows us to destroy an enchantment or an, ar uh, an artifact. We've seen a lot of enchantments. Uh, I don't know how relevant it'll be in the new format, but depending on how games go, we might be able to blow up an Ember Cleave, Elspeth Conquers Death, something like that. Uh, then we got a Nylea, the Knight. So this is cost reduction to allow us to play even more bigger spells cheaper. It's also a mana sync late game when we run out of cards. And it's pretty easy for us to turn on Devotion of 5. We have a lot of cards that are double green in the deck, so we can get that going pretty quick. Uh, playing three Questing Beasts, just a big creature, and basically all the, the text possible. Dinos, I, I told you. Stick with me. Four Shifty Boys. We got uh, Shifting Ceratops, can't be countered, Pro Blue, Smashes to Fairies for days, uh, can give yourself Reach, Trample, Haste, um, so there's kind of a trample sub-theme as we go to Quartzwood Crasher, uh, five mana creature, um, trample. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dino beast creature token with trample where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt the player. So it's kind of a token engine. This is almost like Regisar was from uh, Ixalan. Then we have Godzilla King of Monsters or... It's choosing the Godzilla art, uh, but Zilothra, Strength Incarnate, 5 mana, 7-3, uh, Trample, uh, Lethal Damage Delta Creatures you control is determined by their power, 
uh, rather than their toughness. So when this is takes damage, it's in terms of combat, uh, or even just burn, it, it needs to take seven damage, not three. And the same with all your other creatures. So your quest, your shifting ceratops needs to take five damage, um, and going from there. Uh, so a couple of those they are legendary, uh, and then one great henge. Pretty easy for us to get the cost reduction on henge. Uh, offsets our life, gives us some card advantage that way as well. Now the sport cards, uh, we have kind of like pseudo fight deal damage. So you have a couple Domri's ambush. Uh, this also hits planeswalkers. Uh, but one of the new cards that's actually really sweet from the set is ram through. So it's an instant, um, whereas Ambush is Sorcery. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. If the creature you don't control has Trample, the excess damage is dealt to the player. So if you're dealing with a one toughness creature and you hit it with uh, Quartzwood Crasher, they take five damage in addition to you killing it. So it's like a removal spell and a burn spell kind of paired into one, which is really sweet. And then finally wrapping it up, we have a couple Domri's, uh, Anarch Bolas. It's an anthem for our deck. It can accelerate us further, um, and it is fight paired with it as well. So usually I like a couple of these in Gruul. It kind of pumps up our stuff, makes it a little bit more formidable, and we go from there. Uh, mana base, pretty simple. We got a couple castles, just as another way to accelerate our mana. A couple Fabled Passages, just because we are trying to hit red, red, green, 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 um, kind of... The biggest way I lose even in Historic Gruel is to my mana base. Um, so not having uh, the, the buddy lands hurts. Uh, so we are going temples. We don't have plays on one, um, which is good. So if this comes on one, you're fine. And then some forest and mountains. So it's pretty much the list. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions, recommendations that you may have. Um, as Like I said from the onset, we'll be streaming pretty much the whole day from 1 p.m. Eastern on uh, April 15th. So if you can stop by, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, uh, if you're looking for deck lists, anything like that, easy to download, just check out Aether Hub. Uh, I got tons on there. I think I did 23 or 24. Uh, it's pretty much all I've been doing when I'm uh, offline right now, Bruin. This is my favorite time in Standard. Um, so thanks for stopping by. Stay safe out there and happy Ikoria release.